Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's been a real honour and uh, a, a real pleasure to sail with Vestas 11 Hour Racing, not only to sort of race to, uh, competitively to try and win the Volvo, but also to spread the sustainability message. And uh, I think on a personal level, it came at a really good time for me because I think in, in my own life, I'd started to think about these things like how much plastic we consume and how much is getting in the ocean. Uh, I'm lucky enough to live by the beach in, uh, in Spain and uh, there was a couple of things that got me thinking about it. The first was when I used to get home from the supermarket, how the bin would be full before I've actually eaten anything, just unpacking stuff. And uh, yeah, and after a big storm, seeing how much plastic washed up on the beach. And uh, yeah, I started to think about uh, yeah, what I could I do, but, but didn't really know where to look or where to start. So uh, you know, to get involved with Vestas 11th Hour Racing at that point and uh, and yeah, really start learning and, and, and creating aware and getting, getting the personal awareness of, of what we can do has is, is been fantastic. And uh, I think a, a really big lesson for me is, is uh, being sustainable is a very accessible thing. You, you don't need to be hard line and militant about it. Every little thing you can do can make a difference. And, and it, it really is one of those things that if everybody does a little, it, it is going to make a big difference. And uh, yeah, it's been really, encouraged to, really encouraging to learn that and, uh, and, and help to spread that message. One of the things that really encouraged me for the future is um, I have two young children, a four-year-old and a two-year-old, and um, I've certainly not pushed the sustainability message on them, but just them being around in the village and visiting aquariums and stuff, they've really picked it up. And my, my eldest Alexander in Cape Town was, was picking plastic bottles off the beach because he didn't want them to get into the sea. And that's not because of the message I've given him directly, but from him being involved in the race and around the race and, and learning about these things just through his normal life so uh, you know if that's the attitude of a four-year-old now I, I think it gives us real hope for the future